The cure and lock with flash technology sidelines the initial flash of blood from an accessed vein to reduce skin contaminants that enter into the blood culture sample. Here is an inside look at the cure and lock in slow motion. With venous access, the initial flash of blood and contaminants within fills a U-shaped side channel until it reaches a white porous plug. Kirin requires only about 0.15 milliliters of precious blood, making the device ideal for peds and patients at risk for hypovolemic anemia. Once the side channel is full, blood will flow a variable distance into the adjoining sampling channel before stopping. This indicates that the set is ready for specimen collection. When a vacuum is applied, blood then passes from the vein into the collection device through the sampling channel. Studies show that best practice compliance combined with flash technology to sideline the initial flash of blood can reduce contaminated cultures by more than 80%, improving the clinical value of blood culture testing for safer, more effective, and lower cost treatment of patients.